Hey there, everyone. This is Zalgal playing Ghost Trick. Today we're just jumping right in. Uh, no time for speculation. Last time we solved the puzzle, and today we're solving a different one. Whoa. Uh huh. Oh, right. So we're just like re seeing this scene here, which is fine. What's a hosta? No, okay. Shouldn't be mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have seen this yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. Hostage. Whoa. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm just... I just kind of expected to jump right in and work on things. This is all text from yesterday. It's just kind of setting us back the scene and saving on animation time by just reusing footage and worse work that you used last time. That's just being smart. All right, so. But is it... Good. Uh, that's the real task. Uh, yeah, you can just Spider-Man like way up there. It's honestly pretty impressive to see. All right, then we're gonna get this lovely blurred, lovey dove. Uh, it's a dove. Like it's clearly a pigeon. The color, a dove. Well, no, you don't. Doves are not just white. There's a variety. Uh, I think. I don't know. I'm just saying things. Alright, so we gotta save mozzarella up there. We're gonna do that. We're gonna start by going in the scene. Whoa, there was some loading there for like a hot second. It's like a few frames. Alright, so for a minute, yeah. Buy a gun. Oh, I got mixed up there about who was speaking. I thought it was the people in the scene speaking. So allow him to shoot and then save Kiana without him noticing. Yeah. Like last time. Yep, yep. I know that how uh, where you can also press select if you're not a monster. Because, like, I can't even go there yet. Like, I need to get you out of the way. Alright, let's dog around. So, yeah, we have access to these things, and that's it. Oh no, dog can go across and do things here. Which is something you cannot. Uh, you cannot do anything. I guess I can move you, though. Let's see. Moving motor, I make noise. Well, that's a very, very unhelpful curse, you know? Yeah, I, I would love to move on, but, you know, you're making it hard. I'm just gonna press the button again, just in case. Alright. Oh, we're repeating the exact same thing again. Wild. So, I can't do anything as Cecil. I have access to nothing. Alright, well, let's dog something up, I guess, but again, I... What can I do as this puppy? I might have to wait until the scene changes around. And see, like, what happens between things. Alright, that looks to be what we're gonna be doing at this point. Cause like, there's just no- oh, okay. Wait a second, we got a kettle now, I can go back up here. I can turn on, I can swivel and hit him in the face. That's gonna ruin it, because he's gonna know. He's gonna know. I don't think there's any shapes I can swoosh around. What do you have to say about that? Okay. Sure. Will do. Yeah, swivel. Totally didn't see that. Totally wild. Ooh, and that's how I can go and go here, though. I'm gonna examine this book. I love books. It's a pigeon, yeah. You ain't telling. So many mysteries. So I got the power to rock this thing. Like, what does that mean? Rock. Rock the cat. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, he got shot. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to, like, I was wondering if I could have ghosted over there and done something there, but I wouldn't have been able to ghost because people are moving. It was not trick time. 
point. This hat fell. Oh. Yeah, this is his ghost world. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> huh. But the hat could have just... Whoa! Just talking the fourth wall here, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and of course I can't do anything because his power supersedes mine. Alright. So, don't make the hat drop. Oh, uh, how much are you gonna make me redo? But... It's, it just falls. Mm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, really. Re you can't. You won't even let me fast forward this. Really? You're not even letting me hold a button to go into fast forward mode of these these tech. There's just so important that I trial and error and read this every time. Naturally. Oh, this game. And I'm just trying to do everything. Ah, uh, shoot. Was I too late? I was too late. Now you let me. Oh, maybe the text was different? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Hey, it'd be too slow again. Like, I'm assuming that this matters. I don't know what for, but... Okay, no, never mind. He just, like, detects the sound or something. Maybe? Okay, maybe not. Okay, time is passing. I just don't know what I've accomplished. Hmm... In trick time, I can do something. It's behind his back. Whoosh! Alright, anything to do here? Photo... Examine... That's not what I want to do... Yeah, there's... Is there anything you can do over there? Uh, it's too far for you... I can jiggle that hat... JIGGLE! Whoa. Okay. Uh, barb. Um. Okay, if I do this, and I put you here, then I redo that so I can put you here, just so I can, like, travel us over there. Uh-huh. All right, you. Uh, this and that. No? It's not... It's not happy? Oh, this and that? Yeah, because it's all full of... Sure. What is that? Oh! That falls there. Yeah, let's have a conversation. Right on the hook. So maybe I can swap that with the helmet? Uh, yeah? What does that mean, though? Well, uh... I'm just gonna, like, dodge everything. No, go back here. Go back here. Ugh. Oh, I need to make it fall, probably. Okay, well, how is that gonna work? Uh... uh. I'm still, like, in that mode is the problem, right? Beside, like, what would that accomplish? I don't know what I'm doing. No, those are not related. Yeah, like, they're not close enough in shape. I don't know what. Uh, I thought I would whack him instead of just doing that. 
You idiot. Ah, oh, whatever. That matters, but why does it matter? Why does that matter? Am I supposed to get the wool hat on Camarera and then give him the helmet? Like, how would I do that? That's the same. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Last split second, implying that that's when we need to do something. this like that has to be meaningful so now we got that hat but like uh, uh, uh. but it's not the exact same shape maybe it's gonna get like flipped over or something like it needs to be like turn around Chance is coming up. You're on the bullet? Wow. Okay. Wild. Same shape as direction as the bullet. Top screen. Well, I'm not sure I follow, so. Oh, you're not gonna let me, huh? Oh, it's like the cap. Okay, I see. That doesn't really look like how I think a bullet would look like, but, um. No, 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 yeah, that's why we want this guy here. Well, now he's gonna know that he just shot a hat. <laughs> So a big problem I have with this game is that, oh, he's just so confident he's not even looking, yeah. is that I don't wait until the last second before I just try to do stuff. How did you not notice the bullet turning into a wool cat, though? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, hmm. So I know the game is not gonna do like some tricky like last minute timing thing, but you still have some last minute. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, the, the important part is I managed to do it and didn't take that long either. Really? Well, obviously. Mm hmm. Back to our time. Yeah, no, there's a lot of nonsense happening. This is the clock animation. We've seen it, like, once. Before. Look at that, playing dead like a pro. It helps when your bones are broken. I just feel like if it was, like, a very deep-rooted, seething revenge, he would have leaned down and looked at his work, but he didn't. Like, they're kind of lucky this worked as well as it did, let's be honest. <laughs> Just a 
you. Well, he's not gone. He, like, left. Alright. Oh, they won't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, if you can just manipulate them at will. Well, you can- you could set up- if you're smart. You could set up, like, groups of three or something where you're basically watching each other more than you're watching outside. There's a way to handle it, if you know, if you're aware about all the rules. I just don't know if he is when he ordered that, you know? Well, we'll see, but I have no confidence. Trick time? Oh, it's probably a conversational trick time, which is... I mean, he's alive. Uh, yeah, alright, let's do that. That's gonna be how we end. Uh, I just... I don't know if it makes a difference which one I go into. Because we're all in the same group call anyways. Uh. That's true. That's a plan, at the very least. Alright, sweet. Are we going to actually get actual, legit answers? Yeah, well, I mean, we went over before. Oh, that was just like a whole lot of self-justification. Said so this, cook my arm. So what has he done? I didn't particularly remember that. Yes, I was working on a special case. Uh huh. All right, he did it. You know what? The weird stretchiness of his uh, words kind of make it an easy tell, at least when he's the one talking in a scene like this. So you're in charge of a case, but they don't give you the info you need? Like, what the hell kind of absolutely unworking unit is this? Hmm. That's right, it's an important lesson here. Always leave them hoping. I shot his family. Like right here in the middle of an interrogation, like yeah, they just seem like absolutely completely dysfunctional. I, and I just don't understand if they're supposed to seem that way or not. Oh well, no, yeah, that's a. How did you manage to do that? That's kind of terrible. Like, that's just sad. Like, that is just... That is just... Impressively incompetent. I'm a little surprised. Uh, like, it seems out of character, honestly. Of course... Huh... This might be the blue people from the submarine. Huh. Yeah. Of course. Right. So they were there to hire Flesh Cecil. Well, hide buy his services, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We saw it. Well, we the players saw that. record this is extremely important to talk about this at a moment like this huh it's not because your head but like again this this place is absolutely dysfunctional So like if he didn't have a spotless record, no other unit would cooperate with him and it would just be a big mess? Like, is that what what they're hinting at? Maybe I'm just misreading things, it's very possible. And also it's from his point of view, like we don't know actually. Yeah, remember that these two were like old friends. All right, whoa, determination. Uh, he's like an awful stupid a little bit, but I get it. Like, I get that. All right, that's fair enough. Like, that makes sense. Within the scope of this game, that makes sense. It's been a bit since we've seen Lin. All right, well. I don't know if I... Oh. Am I seriously gonna have a separate intera interaction with this man? Okay. That makes sense. Like, that would make sense why he would quit work in the junkyard, because that's where his, like, secret lair where it was. Where he studied the, the Rube Golder machine. Hmm. Whoop! There he goes. Oh, that was not a special effect. That's just what happened. So that's a new power. Just warping? Did he respawn? Alright, well, we got two things. Maybe with the third one it will appear. Yeah, see, see, I think that the meteorite conveys immortality that way. Like, it heals, it repairs itself, it reconstructs. Because, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the vanishing part, though, that doesn't make sense. Well, okay, if he- maybe, okay, maybe him fading away didn't literally happen. But he could have just manipulated his way out. Yeah, don't show the fading, making me think that he just faded. He didn't. He- he uses manipulator powers. Let's see, we can clearly hear the door. That's not vanishing. That's... When I leave my room going through the door, I do not vanish. Yeah, yeah. Manipulator. Don't act that surprised, Cecil. You know exactly what happened. Come on. <laughs> Like, come on, why that shock phase? That's ridiculous. Whoa, 
all kinds of instruments. Right. Hey, ooh, see, ooh. Maybe his pigeon's gonna get infected. There's that theory that might happen soon. Although then it just implies his pigeon was his friend all this time. Amber is chillin'. I thought it'd be a new one. Sorry if I'm kind of silent. I'm just kind of absorbing the story. It's me! I've been doing these dance moves for years. Also, you just barged in without knocking. That's weird. how absurd this whole scene looks like with all the people in their very specific poses. See, you can read that as both ways. It can mean out of this world as of ghosts or out of this world as of from space. Confirms a lot of info, if anything. Most of which was clearly deduced by now, but still, it's nice to just have like a hard confirm. Yeah, it was the Cupid turning around. Shot in the face by a hat. Fast forward through summarizing everything. Uh, well, actually, it's also because we're filmed shooting a guy, but... See, he's yucking it up because it's a funny joke. Always laugh. I shot your dog as a joke. You're gonna laugh. Change out of his prisoner pants. But then again, he probably just does not have the time for that. That was just being efficient. Huh. That's cute. That bird is so strong. Like, a coat like that would not be, like... Fits in just as snugly. Hey, 
and that's how the game ends. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. It'd be super mean, but there's a certain... I feel like we're ending an act, basically, here. Oh, definitely. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, sure. I don't know how you're gonna do that, but we're gonna find out soon enough. It's almost done. We are approaching the end, aren't we, though? Like, just in time, in terms of, like, actual in-game time limit. Maybe you won't die. We don't know. I still think everything Ray said was a lie. Like, beyond just the pure me mechanics of ghost powers, don't trust anything Ray has said.